Edinburgh, a city steeped in history and, for me, a dream destination years in the making. The streets here don't just look old, they feel alive, filled with stories waiting to be uncovered. And over the next few days, I'll wander the misty alleys of the old town, get lost in cozy cafes, and find out if this city really lives up to all the hype. It is really a chance for me to feel close again to somebody I love very, very, very much. Now, this is my first time in Scotland. I actually started off in Glasgow and made my way to Edinburgh this morning. A quick and scenic train ride that took just over an hour, cost £16 and was booked through the Trainline app. It couldn't have been easier. And now, the adventure begins. Oh, time to make some dreams come true! We have arrived in Edinburgh and I've made my way straight to the hotel. Now check-in isn't open yet, so I've just dropped my bags there with the hotel staff. We'll come back a little bit later and check out the hotel together. Right now we're gonna go out and explore Edinburgh for the first time and get our first feel of the place. Now I feel like most people would have been hoping for good weather, <laughs> praying for blue skies and sunshine, but not me. That's not what I wanted. My whole fantasy of Edinburgh is that it's misty and foggy and cold and overcast and all things cozy and lovely and that's what it's serving up today so I'm already feeling like this is off to a great start <sighs> let's get this one underway this has been a long time coming for me I'm ready by just taking a walk around Edinburgh and getting a, a feel and a sense of this place I've dreamed of visiting for so long. And I want to talk to you <laughs> about why this trip means so much to me. And I had mentioned it in my Glasgow video, but didn't get to go into it. Um, I was very fortunate to have a really amazing granddad and I loved that man more than, more than words can say. There is just no bond <laughs> like there is between a granddad and his little granddaughter. And I was very blessed to have him in my life for quite a few years. Sadly, I lost him when I was a little girl and it really broke my heart. And surprise, surprise, he's, he was Scottish. Now he's not from Edinburgh. He's from a tiny little place up further north. I'm not going to visit there on this trip. I really want to save that and just do that just for me. But I believe his clan comes from Inverness originally and that's where I'm going to be visiting in our next episode. But, and so being here, I just feel so close to him. And this is my first trip to Scotland. <laughs> and I've dreamed of visiting for a really long time just to see his home and experience his culture and his country and be able to be close to him. And I'm so thankful to get to do that. You know what really brings it out of me is every time I hear bagpipes, <laughs> which is a bad trigger to have in Scotland, but just walking around here and there's this sweet boy all in this kilt and everything dressed up playing his bagpipes and it just instantly brings tears to my eyes. And I'm glad I get to share that with you guys. <laughs> and thank you for listening to me and allowing me my annual cry on this channel. <laughs> Lunchtime, and we have made our way to a spot called Maker's Mash Bar. I love a spot, and a mash bar seems like it's right up my alley. Now, when I was researching, this place was everywhere. It was on everyone's list of things to do. Now, the menu is packed full of delicious things. Lots of mash options, of course. So the way it works is you choose your topping, and then you choose your mash option, and it comes out. I so they had a vegetarian haggis. What even is that? It terrified me. I don't know about that. Instead, I just went for the mushrooms. It's the lion's mane mushroom. And I have to tell you, that's come out that I'm terrified of it. They're real hairy looking. They look real textural. I hope I've gotten this right. I'm terrified to eat it. It's delicious. <laughs> It's really good. Okay. The only thing that's freaking me out is the texture. I haven't eaten a piece of meat in I don't even know, 15 odd years. And the meat, the texture is quite meaty. It's 
so it's freaking me out, but it doesn't taste meaty at all. It's nice and chewy, delicious. Red wine sauce is great, and the mash is excellent. I could eat just a big old, just a big old bowl of that mash. Something to scoop it up with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you what's on my mind? Because I've been thinking about it for quite some time. Hey, can you give me a moment to declare my love? I was making my way past the National Gallery of Scotland and thought I'll just duck on in for a quick little look around. Not only was it free to enter, but they have some amazing works in there. We're talking Monet, Van Gogh, Gauguin. It was really impressive. And they have some amazing works by Scottish artists too, which is really cool. Now I've made my way from there, just a short walk here to Princes Street Park, I think. And this place has an incredible view of the Edinburgh Castle. Every other day but today. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sweet view of nothing. So here's what I'm thinking. Because the Edinburgh Castle to me is really like an essential thing I need to see, experience. I think let's shelve it. Let's accept our fate for today. Let's try again tomorrow and hope that it clears up a little bit and we're able to see it. Because at the moment, it's just, it's a wide out. started researching about coming to Edinburgh and things I wanted to do, The Milkman was one of the first things I put on my list. It's everywhere on social media, which often means it's super touristy and not cool. But for me, it just came to kind of epitomize the trip. So I'm here. <laughs> now, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm going through some kind of a big life shift and I'm switching to tea. Um, so I've got a lovely little afternoon cup of tea, some sugar in there, some oat milk. The guys at work here are so sweet and lovely. It's so hot, it's so delicious. And an afternoon sweet treat. We've got a beautiful piece of um, lemon and poppy seed cake. Now they have all kinds of goodies spread out on the cabinet in there. I was having a hard time what to choose and I thought let's go with something super healthy. <laughs> the lemon makes it healthy, right? That is perfect. This is just such a great moment for me. You know, just sitting outside, the weather, even though it's overcast and cloudy, it's not too cold at all. I'm just rugged up because I want to be cozy, but it's just lovely to be outside in the fresh air, soaking it all in, looking at all the buildings, looking at all the people, and just being present and enjoying it. It's, I'm just so happy. <laughs> just after 4 p.m. which means we can check into our hotel and I'm gonna be honest with you if you want to have a good cry just look at Edinburgh accommodation prices <laughs> it is staggering how much they'll charge you for a hotel room here so I'm really hoping for what I paid for this place it's decent <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna be really upset hundred very close to twelve hundred Australian dollars for two nights two nights at this hotel and that was the cheapest option we could find in a good location otherwise we would have had to stay in the middle of nowhere and hire a car now I say we because my best friend Katie is gonna be joining us very soon I just think if you're coming to Edinburgh just be prepared that accommodation is going to be the biggest expense Woof. almost set which means it's time for dinner and Katie is back now you may recall Katie doesn't love to be on camera are you about to pop in camera <gasps> she's real <laughs> up until this point they didn't believe you existed love they thought I was making it up and I was just talking to myself <laughs> 
if you missed the last episode, Katie is one of my very, very, very best friends in the whole world. I didn't know what to have for dinner. I was floundering, I was struggling, and then Katie stepped in. She got on Google Maps and sorted it out in two seconds flat. She's like, we're going to Edinburgh Street Food. Let's go to Edinburgh Street Food and eat. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see what they have. something phenomenal in finding this place. I was saying to her that today felt very sleepy and chill and kind of like we were just easing our way into the city and now we've come here. This frame behind me is unreal. It feels like every young cool person plus us is here at the moment. Um, let's try some food. Now what I love about having Katie here is she loves to eat just as much as I do and we've ordered a lot of different things. So they have a Mexican street food spot which does all plant-based tacos. We've got two of those. We've got a lobster roll with some chunky chips and a lobster bisque and of course some mac and cheese bites maybe. Let's start with the mix. We got the refried beans. Yeah, the refried beans are real tasty. The guac is good. The tostada or whatever it is has a nice crunch to it. Let's see if I can get a good cheese bowl. That's really good. I would never have ordered those if Katie hadn't ordered them. And then the piece de resistance, a roll de lobster. I don't know why I'm speaking French. It comes with a side of thick boy fries and a little lobster bisque. That's my favorite. I'm new to the world of lobster rolls. I never think to order them. I had one with Teddy in Toronto, you guys would have seen. Loved it. That is perfect. The roll is so soft, it just disappears in your mouth. The lobster is beautiful with that little bit of mayo. It's very fresh and it's perfectly salted. Now Scotland is famous for its seafood and it's easy to see why. That is phenomenal. gentle one today because I am inside the cafe and I want to be respectful. <laughs> now Katie and I were trying to decide what we wanted to do today and we thought we'd start the morning in a spot called Dean Village and we're gonna go and explore that in a second but first things first coffee and we wanted to go off grid aka off TikTok and find something new something we haven't seen online before so we were scoping around Google Maps and we found this place it's called Fauna and it is beautiful just looks like a lovely local spot they have the yummiest cake cabinet a really simple little breakfast menu about four or five tasty little bites involving sourdough and whatnot I have got a flat white with the oat milk, you know. Cheers. That's really good. That's the best coffee I've had in Scotland so far. I've seen the French dipping the croissant in the coffee. Have you ever done that? I've never done that. Oh, yum. It already feels like such a good idea. Mm, good idea. <laughs> now, the reason we're starting a flight, I'm with croissant all over our faces. When we were trying to decide what we wanted to do today, there was a moment where I thought, is it a good idea to get out of the old town and go to Dean Village? It was a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful in here. It's so quaint and there's such a lovely energy. It's all lush and green and leafy. It's all misty and cozy and cool today. The cobblestone streets are beautiful. There's this little river kind of trickling through the center of town. It is so picturesque. 
It is one of the most beautiful little towns I've seen. I absolutely love it here. Now what Katie and I decided to do was we caught an Uber out here and we're gonna slowly walk and work our way back into the old town. And I gotta say, I'm loving that plan for us already. <laughs> Let's keep going. high expectations coming to Edinburgh because it was a bucket list destination for me and I was trying so hard to manage those expectations before I got here but I couldn't <laughs> my heart just had to be here and I I couldn't bring myself down I, I was just so full of high hopes for it it is exceeded all my expectations I cannot describe to you how beautiful it is walking through here it is so lush and green and lovely. I feel like I've entered a fairy tale, some kind of a storybook world. I can see where JK Rowling got her inspiration for, for Harry Potter. I don't want to overstate it, but this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. And it's so different to anywhere I've ever been. I would expect that with this kind of weather, I would be let down, but somehow the weather is what makes it. And I love rainy weather when it's cozy and it's kind of dark and damp and cute i don't know it's just so lovely i just want to curl up with a cup of tea and read a book and have a hundred black cats <laughs> but i i absolutely love it here and i recommend doing a bit of a walk around the area you know get away from the old town and come into places like this where katie and i are and just immerse yourself in it let's stay here for a lifetime underneath the moonlight because i don't want to go no I don't want us to go oh, yeah you could be my lifeline you could be my sunshine in a world so full of pain can you make it go away what a difference a day makes uh, we walked back here to the Prince's Street Park and yesterday, you will recall, we couldn't see Edinburgh Castle at all. Today we can see it. And it's still got all that lovely mist and fog over the top of it, so it has that really magical look to it. But we can actually see it. So if that's you and you come here and you have bad weather one day, just circle back the next day. I imagine it would be really beautiful with like a blue sky day, but personally, I like the way it looks today. made our way here to Victoria Street. Now what I love about this area is these beautiful colorful shop fronts. It is so gorgeous and if you're looking at it thinking that reminds me of Diagon Alley from Harry Potter. Uh, yeah there's a good reason for that. JK Rowling wrote some of the books here and apparently this was her inspiration for Diagon Alley. That is the elephant house. That's actually where she sat and wrote. So if you're a huge Harry Potter nerd, you're gonna wanna go there. Um, you can eat, you can drink, they even have butterbeer, I believe. Um, we were gonna eat there, but Katie looked at the menu and she wasn't feeling it. So instead, we're gonna go for a little bit of a wonder and see what else we can track down. And if there's one thing you need to know about Katie, she's great at finding delicious food. So this is all in her hands. It is 1 p.m. and we finally decided it's time for a real breakfast. We're both pretty full, so we're just gonna share this big old Scottish breakfast. We've got the mushrooms, the baked beans, the fried eggs, something called a tatty scone on here. There's a potato hash brown, some fried tomatoes, and vegetarian haggis. Wait, I've not said the name of the place. Where are we? Southern Cross Cafe? Southern Cross Cafe. They have a mean cake cabinet. If I hadn't already mainlined two sets of sweets today, I would be face first in some of those cakes. Um, but right now we're gonna try some of this, some of this scram. Is that what they say in Scotland? Scram. Get, get your scram. Let's just bite the bullet and try this vegetarian haggis. The things I do for YouTube. delicious. <laughs> it's really yummy. It's really yummy. It tastes like a falafel patty. I like that. 
I like that a lot. That's the tatty scone, I think they called it. That looks really good. It looks like a potato flatbread. That's unreal. That's really, really good. Mm -hmm. The Scottish know how to do a very good big breakfast. I recommend. Mm -hmm. We are outside Islander. Now, if you don't know about this, you're about to know about it because Katie and I are going in there to make our own custom Harris Tweed handbags. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's awesome. Graphs time! Oh, time to make some dreams come true. immediately overwhelmed. We've just had an intro briefing from the lovely lady that's running the workshop. First thing we have to do is pick all our components. So she's kind of used this one as an example. So we have to choose our tweed lid. We have to choose the colors of our straps and we also have to choose the color of our bag. Now at this point we can't upgrade. I paid around 60 pounds to build the mini, but I think I'm gonna upgrade to the medium. It looks like a better size for me. Miraculously, I've been able to decide. I'm going for a straight pink vibe of course <laughs> and Katie's gone for something so beautiful look at this she's gone for more of a neutral classic I love it I love it um, I need your help <laughs> We have a big decision to make. I am traditionally a person that likes things to match. In my ideal world, I wanted this to be pink, but they didn't have the pink straps. So it's pushed me to be outside of my comfort zone and do something mismatched. And now that I've built it, I love it. But we have a dilemma. Pink handle? Or blue okay, handle? Let's start separating the large for a bag reveal! Oh my gosh! It looks like a bubblegum fantasy! Sometimes I like to make these ridiculous things that just make eight-year-old me so happy. And I love this. Now Katie's is a lot more classic and versatile than mine. Pop yours in the shop, my love. This is your sign to make matching custom bags with your best friend. Have them forever as the ultimate travel memory. Like every time we use these, we're gonna remember this trip that we had together. It's the ultimate trip memento and I am so happy with that, you guys. And that is just the perfect way to end our time here in Edinburgh. I have to tell you, we've had oh, two days here and that has been a lovely amount of time. Katie and I were actually saying that if you wanted to, if you found the accommodation prices in Edinburgh to be too expensive, the train to get here from Glasgow is so easy and I found Glasgow accommodation so much more affordable. You could just hop on the train and come here for a day trip and you would be very happy with that. But honestly, two days has been amazing and it has been so lovely sharing this really special trip with someone I love so much. Katie and you guys. <laughs> All right, you guys, and with that, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below. I hope you have a great weekend ahead and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. Wait a second, free my hand up. Love ya. Ha <laughs> ha